welcome back everyone infosec growing here and we'll be doing step 11 and step 12 in this video okay so let's just check what step 11 is so what we are doing uh, what we're gonna do is to disable the control B signal when our kilo runs okay on some systems when we type control V the terminal waits for you to type another character and sends that char character literally for example, before we disabled Control C, you might have been able to type Control V and then Control C to in input a three byte. Okay, we can turn this feature uh, off uh, by using the I E X T E N flag. Okay, so let's just check out um, how Control V behaves. Okay, so um, A control a b c then control v is 22 and it takes in the input um yeah and it's not waiting okay so that's fine yeah so if you if, if i press control v or control o it's working perfectly fine fine so this is working in my terminal and yeah that's the thing but still we'll add this flag to our uh, local flag okay cl flag and uh, we need to get to this e x t e n i e x t e n flag okay and let's save it now when we make our kilo and run it now i press ctrl v it's still uh, same okay it's still taking in the input and not waiting for the terminal to and not waiting for the uh, standard input fine and then uh, our control o is 15 okay now um, we'll just go through our notes and this is from the tutorial this is something which didn't happen in my terminal when kilo was running which is fine from the man pages it is um, enable implementation defined input processing this flag as well as ICA NON must be enabled for the special characters like okay and uh, for the I U C L C flag to be affected that's fine we can uh, go to step 12 and uh, yeah if you if you run the program now and uh, go through the whole alphabet while holding down control you should see that every letter except m is weird so in this we are going to fix our control m let's just check what happens with control m control m is 10 which is weird because a b c d e f g h i and j j is also 10 and control m is also 10 whereas m shouldn't be 10 it should be some other number okay yeah it should be 13th now it's being read as 10 when we expect it to be read as 13 since it's the 13th letter of the alphabet and control j already produces 10 because j is the 10th um, letter in the alphabet okay what else produces 10 the the enter key does okay so let's press enter and that's it two enters are uh, the ascii number is 10 it turns out that the terminal is helpfully translating any carriage returns which is 13 um, or backslash r inputted by the user into new lines which is 10 and uh, backslash n and uh, we'll need to turn off this feature um, let's just read our notes okay and uh, it turns out okay that's fine cool we'll just add um, our icrnl flag into the input flag okay ICRNL 
I C R N. Yeah, that's fine. And it comes from Tomius.h. The I stands for input flag. C R stands for carriage return, and N L stands for new line. Okay. Now thirteen is read. Uh, sorry, Control M is read as a thirteen carriage return, and Enter is also read as thirteen. Okay. Let's just make kilo then. So this is Control J, okay, which is ten. Then Control M is thirteen, and Enter is as it's also thirteen. Okay. Um, so our uh, from the man uh, pages, uh, we see that I C R N L translates carriage return to new line on input, which is from um, ASCII value 13 to ASCII value sorry from 10 ASCII value 10 to ASCII value 13 yeah so now our uh, control M is read as 13 uh, carriage return and this is from the website and in the next video we'll be seeing step 13 that's it for this video thank you for watching if you have any feedback uh, please let me know in the comments and uh, take care of yourself